well, Redcoats return here again. January is the beginning of the year, but sometimes a, a sort of difficult start after all of those uh, parties and, uh, you know, fine dining and all the rest of it. So I'm polishing off the last of the eggnog. I had a bottle that was uh, half half used, but I uh, didn't want to leave it there till ne next Christmas. So. I do actually like a drop of eggnog. I wouldn't thought I would have, but I tried three or four this year. Lidl has a very good one, by the way. Um, and there's a couple of Italian ones which are very inexpensive, which are very good. This was the most expensive one, but it wasn't um, a Swiss one, of course. But it wasn't uh, necessarily the best, I think. I like the Italian one, which was the cheapest one. Polybomb, it's called, um, which was very good, but Definitely little was pretty close uh, to that. It doesn't really taste that eggy, you know, it tastes, um, of, the, of course, lots of cognac in it, which I like. Well, that's one thing. What I'm trying uh, for a pipe and a tobacco, Sorry about juggling you around here, but my pouch here, Radford's Caribbean uh, blend, which used to be uh, called something like the, the rum blend before or something like that, um, but it's basically the same. Lovely attractive packet, lousy ratings on... Um, Backer reviews, so at least around two or something like that. Most people say, you know, it's all right, but you know, not that good. So I'm having a crack at it. If I keep it lit, this one came quite dry actually. So um, I think it had been around for a while. The pouch. Yarded up, of course, with a few drops of water in there. It's already a bit better, I think. In a Radford's pipe. Now, I did review these under my German pipes and said there was a suspicion that this pipe is actually made in France. And I checked Pipedia and in fact, it's a Chacon pipe. So my apologies to France. This is one of your pipes, but as are many pipes in, in France beautifully made, Chacon, I've got a Christmas pipe, which is excellent. And uh, of course, St. Claude anyway, they had the biggest factory in Europe before most of us other uh, other got to first base so um, must go to St Claude one time and explore there. Well first impression is alright. Didn't have the strongest um, uh, hack note from the pouch. Uh, a little bit of spice, a tiny little bit of rum maybe. little bit of sweetness, molasses or whatever. Um, not many sort of bananas or all that kind of Caribbean stuff you'd expect. But it's all right, you know, which is what the reviews said. And I did look at other places uh, beyond tobaccoreviews.com and on some websites where they sell it and they've got customer reviews. It's all about the same that they said, nah, you know, it's all right, it's not bad, it's not really good, it's in the middle. Ratford's belongs today to the po House of Poshel, um, is the parent group. 
I thought they'd stopped making pipes, but if you go to Estevel's Tobacco House, um, that website, he's got quite a few of these unsmoked. I don't think they're new. I think somehow he found a box of unsold pipes from Radford's um, in perfect condition and uh, is, is selling them. They're not that expensive either, really not. Sort of 115 euros, something like that. Right, I'm going to get uh, further with this, make a verdict, come back to you after these messages. Back again. Well, you know Toking Tommy, I love Toking Tommy, he's, uh, he's got a shit list that he has for the, like, the worst, you know, never buy it again and almost killed me. If I were making a uh, shit list, I'm probably going to have to put this one on it, you know. Well, in my cellar, of course, I had a look around, and from Puschel, I've also got this product, Brookfield, number two. And this has a good write-up in tobacco reviews, and this should be a sort of nice chocolatey type of tobacco. So, to give them a fair crack of the whip, I'm going to smoke that in the near future. I've got a 200 gram tub here. Of course, looking at the base, you think Perschel is a German house, going to be done by, uh, you know, Kohlhauser and Kopp or, you know, HU, someone else did it for them. On the bottom, it's made by the Golden Blend Tobacco Company, Inc in Wilson, North Carolina. I've been to Wilson, North Carolina. There's a, a biotech park there and I visited companies there. And uh, this is made in the good old US of A, which means it's pretty good tobacco in here and I've got high hopes. So my expectations are much higher for this one with the Caribbean mix, of course. Uh, I was pre-warned about it, but I just wanted to have one of these Radford, Radford's uh, tobaccos and try it out. There you go. I hope you all got some nice Christmas presents. I got a nice Christmas present. A Peterson silver lighter. Which, of course, I've been watching Bradley on Stuff and Things use his over and over again. I said, gotta have one, gotta have one. It does look beautiful, doesn't it? And uh, lights every time, of course. But I noticed something. On the bottom, beautifully, Peterson, Dublin, Ireland. You know, you have to think this was made in Ireland. Put together there, at least, you know. But, the box said made in Japan. And then I got to thinking about my Kiribi lighter. Do you notice something kind of similar about these two gentlemen? They're awful similar, you know. I like the Caribbean because it's got this little flipper here, so it's just a bit easy to flip the, the cap off. With this one, you actually have to come across the cap itself, and uh, you know it's a, it's a small detail, but they're damn similar. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this lighter was made by the guys who make this lighter in Japan. You know, it could be, couldn't it? It's a possibility. Just getting the last rays after shortly after sundown here. Quarter to five. 
at least there's going to be more light slowly as we go forward. Look forward to that. Well, one last thing I want to show you. This. Red coats return. Now this was actually made by 3D printing by a gentleman, I will leave a link in YouTube, who uh, started making these lovely pipe rests, rests and um, works absolutely a, a treat, don't you think? Fits any pipe and stable and they're very light so and robust of course being uh, made out of uh, out of uh, polymer of some kind, plastic. And I think that's really cute. So he made one for me and he will put your name or whatever you want on it and then I just painted that, the letters. Came out pretty good. Right, well that was a pleasure to talk to you all again in the new year and hope you all had a great start and uh, keep healthy and take care and talk to you soon. Cheerio.